ohjelmayhteistyössä mukana Viaplay, Viasat, Doridos Maissilastut, Ubisoft, Jack and Jones, Pandai Namco, Jims.fi, EA Electronic Arts ja Matkapörssi. My name is Gwen Frey and I work for a company called the Molasses Flood. The game I'm working on is The Flame in the Flood. It's a procedurally generated roguelike river journey. So that means is you play and every time you die you start over again from the beginning. Uh, you're this character scout and you're traveling down a river um, and the river is different every time you play. Uh, the islands you get off at are different every time you play and you kind of use whatever you find on the islands to survive. So you try to find enough food. Uh, if it rains a lot, sometimes some people it rains all the time because uh, they're from Seattle and uh, if it rains a lot you try to find shelter. Uh, you try to stay warm. You deal with whatever happens and your strategy has to change every time you play depending on what you find. Yes, hi, I'm uh, CJ Kirshner. I'm a senior narrative designer at Dan Buster Studios. Uh, I was working as a writer in New York City uh, and I sought out a, a testing job at the only studio in town called Chaos, uh, who would then go on to make the first Homefront. Uh, and I ended up becoming one of the writers on that. Um, and then the opportunity arose to come and be a part of Homefront the Revolution, and I jumped at it. So the name of the game is Homefront the Revolution, and uh, it actually has a very interesting Genesis story. Uh, it began life as a project with THQ, and was originally a linear shooter. Uh, and then when THQ went under and Dan Buster got the opportunity to make the game that they wanted to make, they said, let's, let's make it open world. Um, and so that's, that's what we've done. We've continued to take it in that direction and uh, we've created a, a very dynamic, emergent sandbox for players to conduct all sorts of guerrilla actions and, uh, and create mayhem and havoc and then run away. Hardest part about making this game I think the, the toughest part about making any open world game is getting the balance of systemic elements in the open world correct. Uh, you know, too much of one causes the game to be too hard, but too much of another might cause it to be too easy. And so it's really finding how all of those elements sort of interact with each other and bounce off each other. It's, 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 a, it's a volatile mix, and it's one that you're never really sure how it's going to come out until you get to a point like this where you get to show it to the world and you actually get people playing it and you find out oh, that works exactly as we hoped it would. Ohjelmayhteistyössä mukana 